pretty breezy out there this evening, Jeremy. I imagine that means some changes could be blowing in the wind. Unfortunately, we do have some changes blowing in on that wind. You're right, Scott. But today was a beauty. We had temperatures getting up into the 80s. Hopefully you got out today to enjoy it. Not nearly record high temperatures, but we did have really warm air out there today. Let's show you what those highs were across the region. We're talking mid to upper 80s, 86 for Williamsport, 85 for Avoca, 83 for Sealands Grove, 84 for Allentown. So a lot of us reached the 80s today, but didn't reach record highs. Williamsport, their record high today was 94, set back in 1936, and today we had a high, of course, of 86. Avoca, about six degrees below the record high temperature and uh, seven degrees below the record high temperature there for Mount Pocono today. So we had warm air out there. You know, it normally doesn't feel this warm this time of year. We're 15 degrees above the average with that record high of 85. We felt more like the 11th of July. So it was feeling a lot like summer today, but uh, temperatures are going to take a tumble as we go through the next few days. We're talking highs only in the 60s and hard to get out of the 50s for some as we head towards the end of the week. Temperatures right now still in the 70s and 80s, 82 for Lewisburg, 80 for Sealands Grove and Danville, 79 for Forkston, 82 for Scranton, and 75 right now for Thornhurst. Those temperatures are anywhere from 1 to 5, even 6 degrees warmer there in Allentown than they were 24 hours ago. We're going to have a turn on those temperatures instead of being above average like we have had for the past two days. If you conclude today, it makes it three days of above average temperatures. We're going to have below average temperatures once again throughout the rest of the week. Those winds, Scott's right, it is breezy, and they're sustained anywhere from 6 to 20 miles per hour. We had some gusts up up to 40 miles per hour, even exceeding 40 mile per hour wind gusts there in Wellsboro and Williamsport with a pair of 44 mile per hour wind gusts, 36 mile per hour wind gusts for Mount Pocono today. So it was a breezy day out there and that wind did knock off a few degrees, didn't make it feel as quite as hot as what it was on the thermometer. This is the current view right now from Williamsport, the Lycoming County camera. Good evening to you, Williamsport. Hope you're having a great day. And this is what it looks like right now live on radar. We do have some rain showers right now, very light in nature up in Wayne County. But for the most part, we've been dry for the majority of the day today. It was between 3 and 7 a.m. You might have woken up to a rumble of thunder. We had some showers and storms roll through. But ever since that happened, around 7 o'clock, they've removed out. And we've had clear skies, except for those sprinkles right now popping up in northern Wayne County. I want to show you the bigger picture. We have a really, really active weather pattern right now, and that's providing some severe weather for the midsection of the country. A lot of, uh, you know, Texas all the way through Arkansas, Missouri, through Texas, uh, Tennessee and Tennessee and Kentucky trying to think of my uh, states there. Those are all the ones under uh, tornado watch today. And if you look at those red bits, those are tornado warnings as well. So we've had a very active May so far. 95 tornadoes already reported so far this May, and we've only been through eight days. There's also a flood watch there for uh, northeastern Kentucky as well. Seven day rain chances showing you we have changes on the way. We definitely have rain showers expected Thursday through the night on to Friday and then really the whole weekend too through your Mother's Day weekend. We have a risk for rain showers. I think we have a risk for rain showers every day for the next seven. It's just Monday through the day, I think we might have some sunshine and then some rain showers in the evening. So I want to time everything out for you here on Future Clouds and Radar. We're going to continue to remain mostly clear tonight. Then we'll see those clouds start to continue to roll in through the afternoon and evening tomorrow. Maybe a few sprinkles tomorrow evening, but the real heavy stuff happens overnight Thursday into Friday. Some heavier bouts of rain continuing through Friday morning and Friday afternoon. And then we'll see some residual wrap up showers through Saturday and Sunday as well. As far as future rainfall, probably about a half inch to to an inch of rain and I wanted to get the dog walking forecast in too. Kirk didn't get this one in so I wanted to show Tegan. This is from Judy. This is a great night to walk your pup because the next few are definitely going to need the umbrella. There's your seven day forecast. 66 is a high for tomorrow. Spotty showers definite for the afternoon and evening. Then we'll continue to see rain showers overnight Thursday into Friday. But look at those highs, Scott. I'm really sorry to say we're only going to be topping out in the 60s and 50s for Friday and Saturday if we even push 60 for your Mother's Day. One good thing about this weekend, though, we will have rain showers on and off, but it's not a washout. I think we're going to be able to get some things done uh, some in between those rain showers this weekend. All the moms, thank you for that, Jeremy. I'm trying my best to keep it as less rainy as possible. All right, thanks. We'll see you tonight.